Reporting from Dragon 2016, here is Mark Arnaudo and I'm sitting with Nick at the booth of Fun211. I have to say, a company with one of the best, best names that I've ever heard. I really like the, all the reference there. And today Nick is going to tell us about Epic PvP, which is a card game that has been, if I understand correctly, co-produced by AG and AG distributes it too, but they have a special version here at Gen Con. In any case, uh, Nick is going to give us a general idea of how the game works and plays. Thank you, Nick. Okay. This is Epic PvP Fantasy. Um, what you do in this game, it's a battle game where you fight, uh, you fight each other until the life goes out. What we're going to do is we're going to take a race deck and a class deck. We're going to take two. So if you want to grab it, or mm -hmm. me to grab it. I'll grab a druid. Okay. And that's, and that's the class then. Yep. Oh, I want to have druid. Or druid orcs. Okay. Orc druids. So we'll, I'll go ahead and That's already promising. And you have the goblin, goblin robes. There we go. Uh huh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just shuffle our decks together. So I have these. Those will get shuffled together. We'll figure. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to shuffle yours or? Oh, you can just shuffle one deck to give us a sense of how it works. Okay. Shuffling together. I'll try to be quick. And then what we're gonna do is. We have a life pile here that we're going to form out for where our life is. So we do however many drops are there before. Uh -huh. That is going to be the life pile. Um, we'll draw five cards and then we're going to see who has the most initiative. Okay. So I have a seven. So the total of those two numbers? The total of the numbers. You have a three. Mm -hmm. And so that means I'm going to go first. So I'll set my deck here. And the big thing with uh, Epic PvP is you power up your character with an aggression a pile. So you gain two aggression on mm -hmm. your turn, and then that is going to be the cost of the cards that you have. And so on my cards here, it shows the card cost up in the corner. Uh -huh. And so with this particular hand, I don't have anything that's under two. So I actually can't play. So, so the, these are the resources that you use to fuel up your game effects. Correct. And next would be a draw phase. Uh -huh. And so the interesting mechanic with this is you actually draw from your aggression pile. Oh, I see. And so uh, if I wanted more cards into my hand, I'd have to draw from this pile, and then that would give that decision of, oh no, do I want to try to build my aggression pile, or do I want to, do I really need cards? And so that's the interesting decision of the game, is with that balance of what I want to try to do. Mm -hmm. Next, you'll play a card. I don't have a two, so <laughs> it would go over to the next turn. Um, but let's skip to my next yeah, turn. Yeah, let's pretend exactly. Next turn so you have My next turn more. I'll have four. And so I will be able to play a four. I'm not going to draw any cards. So I'll go ahead and play this out. This card shows that there's defense and there's attack. Uh -huh. And so I'm going to be defending what attacks are coming toward me. The end phase, actually going to flip this around and huh. that attack is toward you. And so this game is just going to be a whole bunch of back and forth of you attacking me, me attacking you, and then our life piles getting drained down. So mm -hmm. whoever wins, you know, that game. Whoever disintegrates the opponent wins the yep. game. Whoever runs out in their life pile, you'll put a discard pile over here. Uh -huh. You have your own individual discard pile. Um, that's the real, real basic gist of the game. Uh, the fun in the game is just discovering all those different uh, synergies and, and mm -hmm. synergies between the different races and classes. And so the races that you have are elf, dwarf, goblin, and orcs. We also and, and the classes are monk, cleric, rogue, and druid. We actually have even more. This is just uh, set up on one side. Oh, I see. We have 
We have druids and rangers and paladins. Oh, okay. So we have a base set, then we have an expansion, and we have a second expansion. Um, also in our, our special box that was on Kickstarter, AG had a, mm -hmm. a samurai deck that they funded. Uh, that's only available through the special Kickstarter box. So this this box here, I want to show you because it's a thing yeah. of beauty. So this yes. box here closes like this with yes. a nice magnet. Very nice. Very nice. And then when it opens, it has drawers. Yes. And then within each drawer, oh gosh, this is this is well done, my friend. This is well yeah, designed it's a, it's an excellent with the box. needs of the gamers in mind. Yeah. Nice box. So, but this one was only available on Kickstarter, right? Correct. Or here at the Fun to Eleven booth, um, you, I believe, you can order through the site if they still have those in stock. You can still order at fun2eleven.com. Um, if you go to AG's booth, you're just going to get a basic box. So, last chance to get this truly awesome box here at the Fun to Eleven booth, Django 2016, for the next couple of days only. Thank you, Nick. Okay, thank you.